implement the concept of method overriding in C++. Design a class named employee with data members, EMP code, name and age and methods get and show to accept and display employee details. Design a class named contract employee with data member contract ID derived from employee class and override methods get and show. Using contract employee object, accept and display all details of contract employee. In this program, we are using the concept of function overriding or method overriding. It allows to have same function in child class, which is already present in parent class. It is like creating new version of base class old function in derived class. Overriding function must have same signature in child class, that is same data type and sequence of parameters. While calling overridden member function using object of derived class, member function of derived class is invoked and functioning base class is ignored. So to call base class overridden function from derived class, we have to use the name of the parent class followed by scope resolution operator. So parent class name followed by scope resolution operator and the function name. So in this program, we have to create two class. The first class is named as employee and another class which is named as contract employee, which is derived from employee class. In the base class employee, we have three data members, EMP code, name and age, and two methods get and show. The method get and show must be overridden in the derived class contract employee. So we can call the get and show method of employee class by using class name followed by scope resolution operator and the function name inside the derived class which is named as contract employee. Because by using the object of derived class which is contract employee, we won't be able to directly call the get and show method belonging to the base class which is employee. So while we are calling the get and show method by using the object of contract employee, it will call the method belonging to the contract employee class. But from that class, we can call the functions get and show of employee class by using class name, which is employee followed by scope resolution operator and function name. So in this program, first we are creating a class which is named as employee. Then we are creating another class which is named as contract employee, which is derived from employee class. So we write class contract employee colon public employee. In the employee class in private access specifier, we are declaring the data members. So the data members are EMP code, age, and name. EMP code and age are of int type and name is of string. In the public section, we are writing the methods, two methods, get and show method. Both method does not takes any parameters and its return data type is void. So we have written void get method. Inside the get method, we have written the logic to accept the values of data member values by using scenes object. We accept the value of EMP code, name and age.
Next, we are defining the second method, which is named as show method. Show method does not take any parameters and its return data type is also void, which is used to display the value of its data members. So the data members are employee code, EMP code, name and age. So by using cout object, we display the value of EMP code, name and age. Now we have to use the concept of function overriding or method overriding in this program. So method overriding means that we have to redefine the functions belonging to the base class. So we have get and show method so that methods will get redefined inside contract employee class. First, we are declaring the data member of contract employee, which is contract ID. In the public section, we are overriding the method get and show. So while we are overriding, we have to use the same signature for the function. So get function does not take any parameter in the base class. So here also we cannot mention any parameters. Now, in order to call the get method of the base class, we can use the class name, base class name. So base class name is employee followed by a scope resolution operator, double colon, and the function name. The function name is get. And after that, we are accepting the value of contract ID by using C in object. Similarly, we are overriding the method show method. The show method also does not take any parameters and its return data type is void. First, we are calling the show method of the base class. So we call employee scope resolution show. So it will call show method of employee class. And after that, we display the contract ID value of contract employee class. Now in the main method, first we are creating an object for the derived class. So derived class is contract employee. The name of the object is OBJ. Now by using the OBJ, we can call get and show. So if we call obj1.get, it will call get method of contract employee. Similarly, if we call obj.show, it will call show method of contract employee class. But in this program, inside contract employee class, we indirectly call the get and show method of the base class by using base class name which is employee, scope resolution, and the function name, which is either get and show. So we call the method obj.get and obj.show. Both will call get and show method belongs to contract employee class. Execute and see the program output.